which gives me hope that I can get these right the first time. But I mean, I've impressed even myself with how bad I mess up sometimes. So let's give it a go. Oh, well, that happened. Hey Bee Buds, I'm back! And today we're going to be checking out some of the new LOL Surprise Earth Love Balls. Look how cute these are! I picked these up here in Canada a couple weeks ago actually at Walmart for $12, but I think they're like 10 or 11 if you live in the States. And I'm really excited because not only are these two dolls super cute, by the way it looks like there's only two to collect, but the balls are made out of paper guys! Oh my recycling loving heart, it is about time I couldn't not pick these up, okay? I just couldn't. Now, like I said, there are two to collect, but luckily for us, we don't have to worry about duplicates because right on this super cute little leaf tag here, we can see exactly which doll is inside the balls. So this one here has a darker complexion and is wearing shorts and a bucket hat, while this one has a pale complexion and comes wearing a skirt and a bandana. And as usual, I am left wishing they had given us a boy, but oh well. When it comes to the design of the ball, the package itself is really simple and I love it. Both balls are identical and the design is fabulous because they're made out of paper, which means they are totally, totally biodegradable. They're both white with the word LOL Surprise stamped across the top in pink and each is covered in raised shapes. We've got circles and triangles on top and some lines on the bottom. Basically the same as the old plastic balls except paper. Going around the center of each ball, we've got a pink paper band that shows all seven surprises you can expect to find inside, which of course will help you to complete the look of your doll. And if those pictures are too small for you, don't forget you can see a bigger image on the big green leaf tags. And on the back, you've got a cute little surprise caterpillar here with the barcodes inside the bodies. And even though there's a picture of a little zipper here, to open these up, all we have to do is carefully pull off the pink paper band that's going around the center, which gives me hope that I can get these right the first time. But I mean, I've impressed even myself with how bad I mess up sometimes. So let's give it a go. Oh, well, that happened. All right, I guess it technically exposed this little arrow. Oh, I'm messing it up even now. See, even if it's a simple task, I still manage to uh, make it not work. Oh, but it is working. We're getting somewhere. All right, and here is our plain paper ball. So let's pull off the top. And here's what it looks like inside. And this is gonna be the one that's wearing the bucket hat. I don't know her name yet. Let's adjust the camera so we can see things better. Okay, so inside we have 10 items, six of which are blue tissue paper wrapped surprises. We've got a big sticker that shows our doll. Her name is Earthy BB, and she's in a heart-shaped earth. We've also got a pink flower sticker that shows a girl walking plus the color green. And if you flip it upside down, you can see it equals go green. Then we've got our doll inside a brown paper surprise bag. And finally, the little booklet of instructions and warnings. Now, I actually haven't opened LOLs in quite some time because there was just so much plastic waste and we've kind of outgrown them, but I'm really excited to check these out today. So what should I start with? I don't know, but I guess it makes sense to open the doll since she'll need the other surprises to dress her. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. So here she is. Oh, she's so cute. I forgot how adorable these are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so of course we already knew that she was gonna have a darker complexion. Hers is sort of like a caramel brown color. And I'm just gonna quickly check to make sure all of her limbs move because that's an issue I've had in the past. And they do, which makes Earthy BB good to go. She's got a brown hair color, which has four braids on top pulled into the back, kind of like pigtails with two on each side that are a lighter brown. It's almost like they're streaked. It's very, very cute. She's also got little curly edges in the front. Her eyes are a dark green color. She's got pink cheeks with freckles, as well as a few little ones going across her nose and some pink lips. And because I can see little pinpricks in her eyes, I know that her water feature would be crying, which saves me some work because I don't want to test that today. Continuing on to her body, she does come wearing a painted bathing suit. It's white with little green leaves all over. And that's it for her straight from the package look, which means we can start opening up our blue paper surprises and find the accessories to start dressing her. So first up, Ooh, we've got a cute little cactus in a purple pot and there's a little handle on the side so she can hold it. Oh, that's cute. 
This one has, ooh, her outfit. Excellent. So we've got a little pair of light purple shorts with white painted details. There's a drawstring in the front and a little pocket on the back. So we'll pop those on. There we go. And they were on this plastic form. So far, it's the only thing that I found. And we've got a green open shirt with green leaves painted all over. They look the exact same as the ones that were on her bathing suit. And this is on top of a little white shirt with a green logo in the center that I can't really make out. There you go. So we'll pop that on her. Very cute, but we can still see her bathing suit. Next surprise is, ooh, oh, cute. We've got some green gardening gloves. I don't know why, but I'm actually super excited by these. Maybe it's because they're way bigger than her hands. Like she's about to look like an alien. Hold on, let me pop those on. Get on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she looks ridiculous, like she's wearing a Halloween costume. These are fantastic. There we go. Oh my goodness, you know what? I said this is the only plastic in here, but doy, I'm forgetting her actual body and accessories. But as in waist, it's only this. But technically, no, because I actually paint these and use them for other things. So anyways, this is what she looks like wearing her gloves and outfit so far. Let's find some shoes. These are probably them. Yes. So here they are. They're a very light, sagey green color with painted white bottoms. And quality-wise, they're pretty good. So far, everything seems to be. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Next up, we've got her cup. Oh, never mind. Her water bottle. Oh my goodness, this is actually super cute. I can use this with larger dolls, which is fantastic. So it's a translucent pale purple or pink color. Not really sure. You can probably see it better if I hold it against my table. And it looks like it's got little stars or constellations painted on it, as well as a green broken heart and matching lid. She's definitely not gonna be able to hold this while she's wearing, oh, never mind. I was gonna say her massive gloves probably couldn't, but you know what? I was wrong. Hold on, can she also hold her plant? No, but this one, this is a yes. And can she stand? No, she's top heavy. Maybe without the bottle? No, still top heavy, but that's okay. Maybe she can balance out with her hat, which is the last surprise. And oh no, guess what? There's another plastic form to keep the hat's shape, but it's kind of unnecessary because this is a really firm plastic on its own. I don't think it was at risk of squishing, but hey, what do I know? So this is our bucket hat. Once again, it's a translucent, really pale purple, just like her water bottle. So I guess we know the answer. It wasn't light pink. There's an image of the earth on top. It's definitely easier to see against the table versus my hand. And we've got a whole bunch of swirls on the side. So let's add it to our earthy BB here, completing her look. And oh my gosh, she's so cute. And we can test to see if she'll actually stand as well. Still no. <laughs> it was worth a shot. So I'll give her back the water bottle and put her with the cactus and stickers off to the side. And now our second ball and doll. We got to open her up to find out her name because right now I don't know it. Ooh, three, two, one. Oh. Did any fall off the table? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, I think we've got them all. Excellent. So we've got our instructions and warnings and our stickers. So this time our doll is Grow Girl. Very cute. And her flower sticker clue is a green floppy disk and the earth. So I'm thinking save the earth. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Perfect. And now our doll. By the way, that's what the surprise bag looks like if you flatten it out and hopefully don't destroy it. it says Earth Love, kind of looks like a bag of soil. And here's our actual doll. Oh, she's a little stiff. Hold on, let me get her arms and legs a moving. There we go. So here she is. What was her name? I already forgot. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, Grow Girl. So she's got a pale complexion with a dark brown hair color, which is parted down the center and braided into two pigtails at the back. And the braids are a maroony light brown color. I don't even know how to describe that. Oh, well. But weirdly enough, there is a random tendril at the front of her head that's a completely different brown from anything else on her. I don't get it, but it doesn't actually matter. She's got dark blue, almost gray eyes, lightly blushed cheeks, and pink lips. And that's it for her because she doesn't come wearing a painted outfit, which means... It's time for surprises, which thankfully I haven't lost any of. And the first one just happens to be her outfit. That's fantastic. Just gonna pop it off the little form here. So this is a one piece outfit, but meant to look like two. So the bottom section is a light pink frilly skirt with a darker pink waistband and suspenders on top of a light purple shirt that's got a pink sun in the center. So let's just pop that on her. Hold on, it's a little stuck right here. So I'm just gonna pop off her head to make it easier. 
There we go. And look at that. She's a peer. We can see her irrigation system popping out of her neck there. Excellent. I wonder if every single one will be a crier and a peer, or if it depends on which one you get. I only bought two and that's all I'm getting, so I guess I won't ever find out. Because we have more surprises to open. And this one is her bandana. Oh, wait, hold on. I just noticed, it's hard to see, but the blue tissue paper actually does have little leaves and stuff on it. And this is not much easier to see, but we do have her yellow bandana and all over it, there's a pattern of little white flowers. It's really cute. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. It does pop right on her head and it fits right underneath her hair. Perfect. Now she's like a sweet little granny about to go gardening. Oh, never mind. She needs shoes. Are these them? Nope, it's a little shovel. It's got a yellow handle and a little silver area, which scoops the dirt. And it fits right on her hand. All right, hopefully these are shoes. Yes, yes they are, awesome. Scratch that, her boots, fantastic. They're a light bluish purple color with dark blue soles and for the area around the ankle and laces. And this is what they look like on her. All right, we are down to our final two surprises. So this one is her water bottle, which is super cute. It's a translucent yellow color with a picture of the earth on the front with some hearts and a white lid and straw. <laughs> she looks a little oversized here, like she went for a mega slurpee at 7-Eleven, but it does in fact fit on her hand. I really wish she had painted features because I could see her bum there. It's like she just escaped from the hospital. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and finally we have our last surprise, which is... Oh, that's adorable. A super cute watering can. And this one is a hard plastic. It's a translucent yellow with a picture of a rain cloud on the front. And there's a hole in it. I kind of wonder if it actually would hold water. I did say I didn't want to test the dolls though. So it would be wrong to test this, wouldn't it? Technically, yes, but I guess I'm going to do it anyways. So I've got some water in her cup here. I'm going to squeeze it into there. So far, nothing is dripping. So that's good. And look at that, guys. Are you seeing it? It definitely does come out. It doesn't hold very much, but it does in fact work. Okay, that's pretty adorable. And also the end of the second ball and her surprises. Does she stand? Oh, nope, she doesn't. Okay guys, that's it for me and our brand new Earthy BB and Green Girl from the new LOL Surprise Earth Love Paper Surprise Balls. Overall, I really like them, even though we're kind of past our smaller LOL doll collecting phase. These ones are super cute and honestly, I think they'd look really adorable next to some fairy houses. So I may just have to make them a little greenhouse or farm soon. And I'm really excited because look how cute these are. Honestly, Honestly, it's the recycling aspect for me. I've been saying it for years, there was so much plastic waste that this just makes my heart so happy. It took a while to get here, I wish it happened sooner, but at least we finally arrived. From the paper ball outsides right down to the individual tissue wrapped surprises, I am very happy because we can reuse those. And I don't even just mean the tissue paper guys, because you can turn these paper balls into little flower pots. Fill them with soil, plant some seeds, and watch them grow. But don't don't forget to transfer them outside so the paper ball can disintegrate back into the earth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and haven't yet, then please remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!